What's going on guys and welcome to your 13th iPhone game programming tutorial. In this video we're going to cover um, the points label here. We're going to make it increment as the block jumps over these obstacles and we're also going to add a couple more methods to our ML points label class that will give us a little bit more functionality. So to get started we're going to go into the did simulate physics method in our mycene implementation file and we're going to create one more method, um, one more handle method that is going to be the handle points method. Now this method, this handle points method is going to be extremely similar to the um, handle generation method because we want the points to increment basically the same time that um, we generate a new block. So we could actually combine the handle generation and the handle points method into one but um, I like separating them just because it keeps things clear. And um, if you want to come back and change it, it's easier to do that. So we're going to type it out here. So it'll be the handle points method. And we are going to do world enumerate child nodes with name obstacle um, using block this guy. And um, I'm actually, um, one thing I'm catching here is we, since we set the obstacles name to obstacle canceled, we actually want to call the handle points method before we call the handle generation method. Otherwise, it's not actually going to grab um, those obstacles that we want when we're passing by. So now we have the handle points method there. If you want, you can move this up so it's um, right up here if that makes things um, a little more organized for you. I kind of like it that way. So, um, in this uh, if statement, we are going to do if no.position.x is less than, and we're going to just have, um, actually no, it's just going to be less than hero.position.x, same thing we did in the handle generation file. We are going to grab the points label, and um, we're going to use this child node with name function. We actually did not name our points label. I am not doing very good with the uh, convention of naming all of my nodes like I've been talking about. So um, you guys should be better about that because you guys are awesome. So this points label, we're going to set its name property to points label. And this is just in the ML points label implementation file. So now we can go back into the Mycene class. We can say, we can actually grab our points label now. So we're going to do ML points label, points label. And remember, remember we're going to have to cast, um, cast this to an ML points label because the compiler wants you to be more specific, something you don't need to actually really understand thoroughly, but something that you just need to know that you have to do. And we'll do self child node with name points label. And this should get our points label that we created right here in our um, init with size method. And then we just have to do one more thing. We're going to do points label increments, that method we created in the last video, and then we're going to run this, and we should be good to go. So now if we click and we jump over this, it's going to be one, two, and every single obstacle that you jump over um, from here on out will add a number to that points label. So um, we're going to create now a couple more methods in the ML points label. These are going to be the set points method to int points and the reset method. Now the reset method we're going to use when we actually clear our scene and want to reset everything. And um, the set points method we're going to use when we're creating our high score label because our high score label is just going to be another instance of the ML points label um, just so we can reuse some of this code and it makes things clean and um, that's the beauty of classes and reusable code like this. So in the set points method we're just going to do self.number equals points and self.text equals remember this string with format method which is super nice for converting between strings and integer or float values or really any um, any data type so uh, uh, percentage sign i do self.number 
So um, now this should set the label to whatever points we put in for the argument. So if we put in 10, it's gonna set the label to 10. Pretty self-explanatory. For the reset method, we're just going to do self.number equals zero. We're basically just um, putting this junk in here, the dot text equals zero and dot number equals zero when we initialized it because we just want to reset the label um, so it returns everything back to zero. So we'll do self dot text equals zero. And that should be pretty much it for our ML points label. We'll actually use these methods in a future tutorial video. Um, but now that we have our our points label incrementing, we can move on to something else in the next video. So as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.